Hey guys, Tony here. Welcome back to another video. This video is going to be a full update of what's going on in my home theater and also with my channel. As you may be aware, if you've been following along in the last few weeks, I'm doing a full upgrade and renovation on my newly built home theater. Yes, I said newly built home theater because as I've gone on this journey and I've discovered so many things that I needed to get right in the outset, I've made the decision to just rip it all out and start again from scratch. Now, some things I couldn't fix because they were structural, but whatever is within my power at the moment, I'm in the process of fixing it. Now, the biggest upgrade that I've got coming is my speakers. Now, these are the Crix MX-10 Wall of Sound, and they've also got a bunch of in-wall speakers to match, which are also coming. They're quite a bit bigger than my current clip speakers and I've managed to repurpose my clip speakers out in my living room and I got past the wife so they're already done and installed so I'm gonna show you some of that and you'll see it's a 5.2.4 setup out in my living room and I absolutely love it I've only had it in for one day but it's amazing so yeah if you're new to home theater this will give you an idea of some of the lengths that us crazy people that are into this hobby go to on our quest for perfection. Before I get into the video, I'd like to say a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters and all the other supporters of my channel who watch my videos and hit that like button for me and also the subscribe button and tick that bell while you're down there. And I'd love to give a shout out to all the people that are on my Discord server. I have some admins which have kindly helped me moderate as we're growing more than I can keep up with and having the admins on the server is really helping. So if you're interested in joining a community of like minded home theory enthusiasts check the links down below so as you can see from the footage we had to start with building the frame and John and his team were really good at building this frame and getting it in measuring up according to the specs of the MX 10s so once that was done we put in all of the insulation cut it all up put it in and then started with the sheetrock work And once the sheetrock was up, the plasterer made short work of getting everything square and set in. So everything looks pretty good and I cannot wait to see what it's going to look like once it's sanded and painted. But you can see that these are the dimensions that were required to get that MX-10 wall of sound in. So as you can see behind me up there in the ceiling, I've got my clip CDT-2650C version 2s. And I've repurposed them from my home theater and they are now in the ceiling. And what I'm gonna do is I've got these banana plug plates here. It's a dual socket one. Because there are six speakers, I've managed to find one that has six. And what I've got, what I've done is the electricians have kindly cut the hole for me and put the C clips in and I'm going to put them in, cut the cables and then terminate them in there. So that's one of my next jobs that I've got to do because I'd really like to fix the mess that I've got here. So in a way I was lucky that I was able to repurpose all the speakers. I could have sold them, but because I only bought them a year ago, I, they would have, I would have been paying such a premium and not gotten the use out of them. And this was just the perfect opportunity for me to put something with better audio. Because this is a fairly big room, I don't know if there's echo coming through, but I can hear an echo. But you see, it's a pretty big room and you know, these speakers will help fill out that space over the soundbar that I had. So yeah, always remember, you don't always have to sell, you can repurpose. And that's something that I've done with my current home theater setup. Let's move on, I'll show you the progress of the star ceiling. So guys, I'm just outside my home theater, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the progress that I've made with the home theater. Now, I wasn't initially going to show any of my star ceiling progress in my videos, but I thought because it's been taking such a long time, I'll give you guys a sneak peek. So I do have one panel up. The other two panels are pretty much ready to go, but there's just a few things that I need to fix up on them, which I'll also show you in a moment. But I'm gonna turn the camera around and give you a sneak peek of the star ceiling in action. So here we go. So as you can see, I can change the colors um, and I can change all the effects just using the built-in app. It's via Bluetooth, but I, because I'm going to synchronize three of these light engines together, I might end up using the RF remote because there does seem to be some drop off when you're synchronizing them with Bluetooth. But the RF remote will be an instant change. Um, it looks pretty cool. I've tested the other light engines on my bench and they all look really cool. So 
yeah, I hope you enjoyed that little sneak peek of the star ceiling panel. It actually worked far better than I thought. So if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe to the channel down below. Right guys, so as you can see, my server rack is in disarray at the moment. I've had to pull everything out. Now you'll see why I'll show some footage of the electricians that were doing some of the recabling work for me. And basically what we did, instead of having the cables coming out of a brush plate, we, go, we terminated them into wall plates. Um, they were able to do that for me with a pass-through Cat6 patch panel and I've basically got everything plugged into that right now because the cables that I've got are too short. I just purchased some on Friday from eBay. Um, I got a really good deal on it. They had 30% off if you bought us over a certain amount. So I bought all two meter patch leads and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it like this until I get those patch leads, at which point I can turn everything off and then I can install the new rack. So I will be patching with this patch panel. Um, it's a pass through patch panel so that I can just use patch leads to go from the wall into the patch panel and then from there into my devices. So I've got my cameras and other things all connected um, that way because all of my AV gear for the home theater is gonna be in here. So I'll give you a little visual on the rack that I bought. It's a really cool rack. I've got so much in the way at the moment and you'll see why when we go in there. Um, I won't be able to open it up because I've got my star ceiling panels right in front of it. So you can see the pandemonium that we're dealing with at the moment. So let's go ahead and take a look. So we're in my garage at the moment and I'm gonna just pivot the camera around so that you can see the 33 rack unit. It's got a tempered glass panel on the front. It's gonna be a really nice addition to my theater because I'm getting some, you know, eventually I'll be going full separates with all of my amplification. So I need a plenty of space. I do have a rack mounted uh, UPS and uh, a few other bits and pieces, some servers and things that need to fit in there as well as my new AVR which is coming um, which is the Denon X8500H which um, is supposed to be good so I'm hoping that one will cater for my needs for the moment on my 7.2.6 system. I'll actually show you the panels as well just so you can get an idea of the craziness that we've got going on here. Yes it might look like they will get tangled but they actually don't. We just pull one strand at a time and we're able to get them into a nice bundle. So you can see from the one here we will be probably gluing down all of these fibers so that they're flush with the board but at the moment that's not a high priority until we get to the point where we're going to mount them. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that little rundown of what's going on in my home theater. I have a lot of content that's coming in the next few weeks, including the installation of the speakers. I have it on good authority from my friend at Cricks that it is coming. It's already on the truck and it should be here at some point next week. So I'm pretty excited about that. And yeah, I will be giving a full installation and unboxing of these MX-10 speakers. So if you're new to the channel and you're interested in building your own home theater, consider subscribing because I do have some help and how-to guides which may assist you on your journey. I am not an expert by any means, but the people that I make these videos for are people just like me who are learning and willing to get in there and give it a go. If you like the video, smash that like button for me. And if you enjoy content like this, you will catch me in the next video. Bye for now.